Good day, everybody. Bebo here. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Welcome back to Space Engineers, everyone. So, all right, guys. Uh, today, I want to go ahead and build a miner. So, last episode, we went ahead and we got all of our refineries up and going. So, that is fantastic. I did go ahead and I noticed in editing that I had that sucker right there wrong. So, I went ahead and redid that. Uh, put it going the right direction. Uh, but now that we have, I really had to get those refineries up and going because that was really... It was taking forever to refine stuff using the... Uh, the little kind of lander kind of thing, uh, refineries. So this is helping out. This is gonna help out a lot. Let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and back up. I wanna go ahead and build like a little miner right here. So I was going to go ahead and do a rover and I'll show you all kind of what I have been using for my mining rovers, uh, kind of in my little kind of test world for my little designs. Unfortunately, they all end up exploding eventually. So they'll work really, really well for a little while and then they die. <laughs> <laughs> so I need something that's actually going to work consistently. All right, you'll, you'll just keep doing your little thing there. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so I want something that's going to work consistently for right now because I need to get some good mining up and going. And eventually, we'll co I'll come up with some kind of good. Uh, I, I just haven't come up with a good design for a mining rover yet. Uh, so when I do, I'll go ahead and you know we'll, we'll go ahead and build one of those. Uh, but I need something in the meantime. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. All right, so let's see. We're going to go ahead and do a small ship right here. And it's just going to be a kind of like a little flying type thing. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and do a nice little simple uh, kind of mining vessel thing going on right here. So it's going to be a little atmospheric flying vessel is what I want to do. Uh, it's going to be a very simple mining ship. So, but hopefully it should work out just fine. So, all right, let's go ahead and do one of you. Boop, boop, boop. Like this, and then we'll go ahead and that's not where I wanted to do, but you'll work. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a let's see, cargo containers. Let's see, what are we gonna want for this? All right, we're gonna want cargo blocks. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and do a large cargo container for you. So, all right, we'll go ahead and put one of you on here. Uh, I also want some of these conveyors. We won't need any of these kind of conveyors for right now. Uh, we're going to want uh, cockpits. Now, uh, yes, thank you for the air filter suggestions. Amazing. Uh, I've tried them out in my other kind of like little test world and they work fantastic. What, what I'm actually going to do this go around though is I'm going to use a passenger seat with a remote control. So we'll go ahead and grab a remote right here. So let's see here. Remote. Alrighty. And we'll go ahead and throw you on here as well. So that, that should be good. Uh, then I also want some, what do we have for small blocks? I'm going to want some drills. So let's see, we'll go ahead and put you on here as well. So, okay. So let's go ahead and put our little cargo container on here. Oh goodness, so you're gonna cause, you're not gonna, let's see. I can never get this correct. Okay, so let's see. All right, uh, you're just not wanting to rotate the way I want you to rotate. All right, you have a big on the front. I don't want you to have a big one on the front. You still have a big one on the front. Okay, so now you have a big one on the back. I don't want you to have a big one on the back. Let's see, rotate you up and let's see. Um, how come you don't want to go? Stop it. Stop it. All right. There we go. There we go. I think this is the one I want. This is the one I want. All right. So please tell me you have a small in the front and a small. All right. Let's go ahead and weld this up a little bit. Just see kind of like where it is. All right. So do we have a small connector on the front and a small connector on the back? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put a drill right there. We're going to go ahead and put another drill right next to it. So boom, just like that. Okay, excellent. And we're going to go ahead and put another drill right there. All right, fantastic. And those all, if you go ahead and kind of look at these, you see how it has like a little conveyor connection on the side right there? Yeah, they'll connect up with each other. So this drill right here, when it gets stuff, it'll automatically go into that cargo thing through the conveyor in that drill right there. So that's going to work out for us, hopefully. So we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and run back up. And let's go ahead and put, let's see right here. We'll go ahead and jump over here for right now. And we'll put a remote control on, let's see, remote control right here. So, boom, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and throw a chair on top of this. So, can I get you on here? There we go. Uh, okay, how come you only go? There we go. Okay. Sometimes if I just go ahead and click off onto something else and then click back onto it, it'll work. All right, so we have our seat. So, let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. So, we don't need you, 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 um, or you anymore. Okay, let's see. We want some of these turbines. I keep calling these turbines. I know they're atmospheric thrusters. Which, by the way, no, they don't need hydrogen. I don't know why I said that in episode one. <laughs> it was just me being a derp. Uh, so let's go ahead and put you on the side right here. Uh, and we'll rotate you up like this. So we want you going other way. So like this. All right. Uh, we'll have you going boop, just like that. We'll do you the opposite right over here. So we'll go ahead and like this. And then like that. All right. And we'll go ahead and have you right there. Okay, fantastic. 
All right, and then on the kind of this part right here, we're gonna want this. So we're only gonna have the big ones going down. So they're pushing down. Uh, that's very important for what we're gonna be trying to do here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna want you going, yes, this way, backwards like that. Okay, so that's good. That's gonna be important. All right, so you guys are going backwards right there. And then on this part right over here, we're gonna have it going the other way. So we'll go ahead and rotate you like this and like this. All right, so that should be good right there. And for the back, we'll have, let's see, we should have probably have one going uh, up like this. So like that. So that's going to push us down. All right. That would be great. We're going to have the same thing right over here like that. And then we'll have, let's see, how do I want to do this? Um, hmm. I'm going to want you right there. Okay. Actually, you know what we could try and do? I could try and do a large reactor on here. Let's try and let's see if I have the materials for a large reactor, because that would be ideal. Uh, is having a large reactor on here. I don't know that I actually have the materials to build this on though. So we may have to change our design. Let's see, are you gonna be connected up? Uh, right there, that should be connected up into that little conveyor thing right there. So that, sh that should be all right. Um, all right, so I know I don't have this stuff on me right now. Okay, so let's see, let's go ahead and get you. I want, I want some going left and right. So we'll do say this way. I need steel plate, I need steel plate. Okay, uh, let's go grab some steel plate. And I just made a whole, I, I need iron in a very bad way. I'm way, I keep running out of iron right now. And I keep having to go mine it. So let's see. Ice, where's all the steel plate? I just made a whole bunch of steel plate. There it is. Okay. I'm going to grab a couple of hundred of you. All right. So let's see. For you guys back here, we're going to want these things going like this. So let's see. We'll have one right there and one right there. Right there. Okay, and we're gonna do the opposite right here. So one right there, and then one up there. Can I knock at you? Okay, and one up there. All right, so that should be good. And then we'll, of course, make you know some armor blocks back here and make it look a little bit better. So you know that kind of stuff. So all right, that should be good. All right, uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and weld this up, and then we'll see what else we're gonna to need to throw on here. I'll probably put some armor on there to make it kind of so those things aren't floating as well. All right, guys, so we have everything. Yeah, I had everything I needed to make this, uh, which is good. Even the reactor back here. Well, I didn't actually have the reactor components. I had to make 100, so it's all good. Uh, our 95 is what it needed, I think. So, yeah, but actually reactor components were a lot cheaper than I thought they were. I thought they were expensive, but apparently they're not. Uh, let's see, gyro. Uh, we'll go ahead and make one of you. We'll go ahead and, uh, hmm, let's see, we'll go ahead and put, say, a gyro. I want you to be like this. That looks cool. Okay. Uh, what? Else? Okay. So I have everything I need for the gyros. I'm making a passenger seat apparently. Uh, so large steel tubes. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and throw some armor blocks onto this sucker so that these little things right here aren't floating like that. And then we're going to go take it for a flight. Yeah, we're going to go fly it around. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and take this sucker for a spin. So I was just finishing up some little last touches. I have a whole bunch of uranium on me. So... Yikes, that's a little scary. I'm just carrying around uranium. Eh, no big deal. Well, no big deal. What's the worst that can happen from just carrying around uranium on us? <laughs> uh, hopefully we have a protective suit. That's what I imagine. Uh, so, all right, let's see here. So we've got uranium on us. Uh, are you going now? Okay, so you're doing a thing. You're doing a thing. That's fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and free this sucker. So off you go and off you go. All right, so if he cuts you, are you just going to go ahead and start... It should start falling a little bit. All right, so it starts falling a little bit. That's just a whole atmospheric type thing. That's fine. That's fine. So let's go ahead and uh, go and jump in here. So woohoo. All right, we're going to not worry about any of that stuff. We're just going to go ahead and actually, yeah, we are. We're going to go ahead and jump into remote control. We're going to take control of the remote control. So now we're in control of the ship. So that way we could be in this passenger seat here. So yeah, and let's see, next thing we wanna go ahead and do is G menu weapons. We'll go ahead and drag you down here like this. And this way, if we use the whole G menu with for the weapons thing, let's go ahead and uh, point ourselves forward. Now we don't have a horizon indicator. That's the only problem with doing the remote control is we don't get a horizon indicator. So let's go ahead and I wanna get uranium. If we're gonna be doing, if we have a large reactor on here, and if we're gonna be using this large reactor, uranium's gonna be our big, it's gonna be a big deal. It's gonna be very, very important that we have lots and lots and lots of uranium. So I have a uranium mine that I started a while back, uh, right over here. And I, I wanna go ahead and use this sucker to go ahead and get a whole bunch more, yeah. Uh, so, all right, let's go ahead and, uh, woo. So this thing operates kind of like a helicopter. That's kind of how it all works. So that's just kind of how we're gonna be doing things. So, all right, one important thing I do wanna know is, Will these thrusters back us up? Can we back up? 
Yes. All right. Fantastic. That's good. That's that's very good. That's like the most important test of a drill thing like this is being able to back straight back up. That way we can go ahead and drill down. I'm doing a right click here. This is why I did the whole weapons, the weapons tools. Instead of making a group of drills, right, and dragging it down there and turning it on and off, the reason I'm using the weapons one is so I could do the right click to just kind of destroy stuff. So this is actually, I'm not actually mining anything here. So you see here, I'm, I'm just kind of destroying all this, this, this ice. So like if you go ahead and look in our inventory, go ahead and jump in our inventory here. We don't have anything in our car container, right? But if I was to do the left click, Right, I'm doing left click here. We should have something in our, there we have a whole bunch of ice. So now I'm doing right click. I'm just gonna go ahead and start destroying all this stuff right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and make like a huge hole here. Just a huge, huge, huge hole. And that's kind of my idea here. I'm gonna make this huge hole all the way down to where the uranium is. Now all the ores are actually like, they're like big pancakes. They're, they're kind of flat ore deposits. It's kind of how they are. So they're not very tall. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Uh, we have a long ways. The uranium is way down here. It's really, really deep. So we're going to have to go all the way down there. So we'll hit on down like this. Oh, I drilled right into it. That's not good. That's that's what I want to avoid. That's what I don't want to do. So we'll go ahead and just start drilling here uh, and collecting as much uranium as we possibly can. All righty. Um, I might open this up a little bit more. Yeah, I think that would probably be a good idea. Uh, let's back up a little bit. All right. Back up this way. Okay, and right here, I'm gonna go ahead and start opening this up a little bit more. Yeah, let me go ahead and open this up a little bit more and we'll come back and we'll start doing some serious mining. Yeah, when I said I was gonna drill a big hole, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> uh, so we got a huge hole right here and I am just kind of hanging out down there in the very bottom. I just kind of go down like this and down at the very bottom of this hole is where all the uranium is. So I just kind of slowly go down. Uh, one very important thing that I'm kind of learning is I do not want to tip over sideways like this. So I want to make sure I'm always flat with the horizon, right? So I do wish I still had that horizon indicator. That's the big drawback to not having the, uh, to using the remote control, right? Not using a regular cockpit with like what you guys suggested basically was using a cockpit with the air filter. Yeah, I think I'd still have that horizon indicator, uh, but without, without that, I don't. So I'm just kind of coming in here like this and mining up a whole bunch of uranium. So, woohoo! Uranium for days! <laughs> nice! Uh, I don't I don't think I have that much quite yet. I don't know, I haven't actually checked in a long time. Uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of going through here and, and mining up whatever I can find. It's basically the whole uranium, like the whole kind of the ore um, kind of node is a, uh, it, it's like a big pancake. It's just a big flat area. So, you know what? You are just a big slab of ice that just needs to go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. I'll just go ahead and mine you and then I'll throw you away somewhere else. All right. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue mining up this uranium right here. And then I might run over there and get some iron. Yeah, I might go ahead and start mining some iron as well. I think there are actually, uh, I have found iron veins over here on this, this big ice lake. Uh, so, I might go ahead and start with those. Yeah, instead of that one that we have been mining up there on the grass, you know? Because, uh... It might be easier just to go ahead and get the ones right here on this ice lake. I am going to have to figure out a better way to park this sucker. I am a little worried that these things are going to... Right, let's see, is this sucker getting hurt? No, it's not, actually. Oh, that's impressive. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. So apparently this is going to work out just fine. Just parking it right there. Okay. Uh, that works for me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and throw... We just got a little bit of uranium. We didn't get, didn't get too much uranium, but we got some. I'm going to go ahead and start refining this and go get some iron. All right, guys, I want to add a few more little things onto my little mining ship. Uh, number one, I, I want a spotlight. Yeah, I need a spotlight on here somewhere. Uh, well, fail, Bevo. Fail, fail, fail. <laughs> I think I get up right here. Okay, uh, so yeah, I do want to add like a little spotlight on here somewhere. Uh, I want to add a ore detector. So that would be good since it is a mining vessel after all. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put our ore detector somewhere back over here, out of the way. So let's see, how about right here? So I, I am going to put a connector. That is definitely a thing that we're going to be adding as a connector. Uh, but I kind of have an idea for a hanger that I want to go ahead and build. Uh, so we'll go ahead and kind of wait. Well, I don't know. I'll probably build one, a connector up. Uh, it's like a little one for in the meantime uh, until we actually get the... Uh, oh, I want an antenna. Yeah, an antenna. Uh, let's see. Can I go ahead and put you in? How about... Let's go ahead and remove this. Okay. Uh, can I actually put this antenna in here somewhere? Would that be possible? Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. 
Actually, I might swap out where those gyros are for the antenna. And then I also want a light somewhere. Just just one light is probably all I need. So yeah. Okay, we'll probably put a. I'll probably swap out with these gyros on the outside and put the light here and the uh, antenna in here. And the antenna is gonna let me remotely control the ship. So I could be standing over there and control the ship and have it fly around wherever. So it'd be easier if I somehow fall off the ship when it's by. <laughs> I could bring it back down or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I went searching around and I could have sworn I saw an a iron patch over there on the ice, but I don't know. I, I didn't see one this time. So I'm going to go over. Is this a new one? I don't think I've explored this one yet. Uh, there's I know there's an iron patch right over there because that's where I got the iron before. So I'm going to go ahead and continue over there and just mine that up. Okay, I've run into a pretty big problem here. I can't get it up. I can't get up. <laughs> I can't fly. Um, okay, so I have an idea of how we can actually fix this. I don't want to change the ship. I love the ship just how it is. But I have an idea of how we can gather a lot of resources and be able to carry it back and forth. This is going to be the big issue with atmospheric type engines is they just don't have much power at all. So yeah, and I'm thinking we're going to definitely have to use a mix of atmospheric type miners with rovers. And I'm talking serious, huge rovers that are going to be just, just massive things. They're going to be carrying these suckers around and then we'll go out to somewhere where we're mining something like iron right here. I'll show you how much iron I have. Uh, yeah, see here, we have a whole bunch of iron. Uh, so look at all that, look at all that, that's amazing. Uh, oh, I can't get, oh, no, 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 where are you going, where are you going? Don't do that, don't do that, okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, where we can mine up a whole bunch of iron and not have to worry too much about all this. This is just not gonna work, this is just not gonna work, I have to get rid of all that stone. Okay, okay, how about you just turn off? There we go, all right. All right, let's see if this works better. Yay, I can fly again! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the stone I had to get rid of. Oh my goodness, yeah, there's got to be a better way to do that. All right, uh, time to go and process all the iron. Okay, guys, the last thing I want to go ahead and set up this episode is I want to automate my inventories here, like my, my refineries. And you remember last episode I said I was going to go set up a, a ingot storage? Well, I did do that last episode. I just don't not sure if I actually showed it to y'all. Uh, but I want all my iron. See, I've been dragging my iron in here from my refineries. So, like, I have a whole bunch of iron right there. I want it to automatically get put into our ingot storage here where I don't have to do anything. Yeah, I want it to be done on its own. So I, we're gonna set up our first little programmable block. So yay, I'm excited about this. No, I've never done this before. I've, I've never done this before. So I'm probably going to mess it up big time. Uh, if I do, please just kind of mention it to me. So yeah, <laughs> all right. Uh, so hopefully I have everything we need to go ahead and build these. So we'll go ahead and see here. So we're gonna set up a timer block right over here, and then we're gonna set up a programmable block right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open you up. Uh, we'll go ahead and call you, uh, let's see here, Tim Prog. So we'll go ahead and call it that right there. Uh, then we'll go ahead and edit it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and browse workshop. And we're gonna use this right here. So this is what we're gonna use. We're just gonna go ahead and go, okay. At least I think this is what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna say, okay. Then I wanna get rid of this little prefix here. I mean, you can leave it the prefix there if you want, but I don't know. I, I don't really see a reason to have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. We're gonna compile the code. So compile it successfully. Woohoo! Uh, remember and exit. Fantastic. And okay, so we'll just go ahead and kind of leave that as it is for right now. So rock on, okay. So that's not doing this thing quite yet. We want to go ahead and set up uh, this little this little timer right here, which we'll go ahead and call this the, uh, uh, how about Tim timer? So yeah, that sounds good. So this is the, til the timer for Tim. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and set this up to the programmable block. We'll go ahead and do that right there. Uh, run with default options, I believe, and timer. Uh, go ahead and I guess start. So yeah, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not overly confident because uh, confident because I've never done this before. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a delay for like five seconds and then start. And this should go ahead and start doing stuff. Are you doing things? All right, all right. Well, hopefully that's doing things. Okay, so we'll see here. Okay, next thing I do before I before I sort out my uh, ingots, I want to go down here to this little guy. And I don't have an access point for you. So, okay, we're not gonna go down there to that little guy. We're gonna come right over here and we're gonna access our control panel. Where's our refinery? So, I mean, not a refinery. Our, where's our uh, reactor? So small reactor. Okay, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set this up to say uh, something like this. So 
How about uranium? And we're gonna do priority priority one. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, it's ordered it out for us. Okay, so Tilm is functioning because you see how it renamed that? It automatically said, okay, this is gonna be priority one for any uranium in our system. It's gonna go right there. So awesome. Okay, for you over here, we wanna go ahead and change your name for our, well, we're gonna leave it as ingot storage, but we're gonna go ahead and say uh, ingots, no, ingots, uh, okay, we'll just leave it like that. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, so how come you're not doing anything? It's not doing anything, guys. It didn't, oh, it did do something. It, it just didn't rename it. So I was expecting that to be a capital I right there, but it didn't do it. It did pull it from over here though. So it pulled that iron from out of there. So that's amazing, that's fantastic. Okay, okay, so that works, that works. Uh, so let's see here. So for our refineries, I think we can actually even do our refineries. I, I, I don't know exactly how this all works yet. I may have to mess around with this one between episodes, but I think we can just go ahead and do it like this. So if we just go or, so or like that, it should automatically sort out our refineries. So that's, it's doing something, it's doing something. So that works for me. Uh, how about or, and that one over there should start doing something here. So, okay, so I renamed that right there. Oh, it did put a capital I right here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, I wanna get rid of this three. Right, we'll, we'll go ahead and call you two. So refinery two, we'll go ahead and call you refinery one. So yeah, uh, refinery, uh, no, not equals. Refinery one, okay, <gasps> no. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so we're all good, we're all good. I think, I think this is actually doing stuff now. So it should be balancing my refineries. So is it balancing my refineries? So there's my refinery one. And where's my other refinery? Here's my other refinery. It's doing some uranium up there and it's doing iron down here. So, all right, all right. Okay, so I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. So I don't know, I might mess around with this little programmable thing I'm a jiggy between episodes. But other than that, uh, we have our miner up and running. Uh, we have a little bit of automation going on, which looks like it's working perfect, which is an absolute miracle considering I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I love it, I love it. All right, thank you all very much for hanging out, everyone. Stay safe. Oh, I'm about to fall off. Bye-bye. I'm gonna do a large cargo container for you. So, all right, we'll go ahead and put one of you on here. Uh, I also want some of these conveyors. We won't need any of these kind of conveyors for right now. Uh, we're going to want uh, cockpits. Now, uh, yes, thank you for the air filter suggestions. Amazing. Uh, I've tried them out in my other kind of like little test world and they work fantastic. What, what I'm actually gonna do this go around though is I'm gonna use a passenger seat with a remote control. So we'll go ahead and grab a remote right here. So let's see here. Remote, alrighty, and we'll go ahead and throw you on here as well. So that that should be good. Uh, then I also want some. What do we have for small blocks? I'm gonna want some drills. So let's see. We'll go ahead and put you on here as well. So okay. So let's go ahead and put our little cargo container on here. Oh goodness, good design for a mining rover yet. Uh, so when I do, I'll go ahead and you know we'll, we'll go ahead and build one of those. Uh, but I need something in the meantime. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. All right, so let's see. We're gonna go ahead and do a small ship right here. And it's just gonna be a kind of like a little flying type thing. So, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and do a nice little simple uh, kind of mining vessel thing going on right here. So it's gonna be a little atmospheric flying vessel is what I'm gonna do. Uh, it's gonna be a very simple mining ship. So, but hopefully it should work out just fine. So, all right, let's go ahead and do one of you. Boop, boop, boop like this and then we'll go ahead and that's not where I wanted to do but you'll work okay so let's go ahead and do a let's see cargo containers let's see what are we gonna want for this all right we're gonna want cargo blocks uh let's see we'll go good day everybody b -boy here I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Welcome back to Space Engineers, everyone. So, all right, guys, uh, today I wanna go ahead and build a miner. So last episode, we went ahead and we got all of our refineries up and going. So that is fantastic. I did go ahead and I noticed in editing that I had that sucker right there wrong. So I went ahead and redid that, uh, put it going the right direction. Uh, but now that we have, I really had to get those refineries up and going because that was really, it was taking forever to refine stuff using the, uh, the little kind of lander kind of thing, uh, refineries. So this is helping out. This is going to help out a lot. Let's see here. 
Uh, let's go ahead and back up. I want to go ahead and build like a little miner right here. So I was going to go ahead and do a rover and I'll show you all kind of what I have been using for my mining rovers, uh, kind of in my little kind of test world for my little designs. Unfortunately, they all end up exploding eventually. So they'll work really, really well for a little while and then they die. <laughs> so I need something that's actually going to work consistently. All right, you'll, you'll just keep doing your little thing there. All right, that's fine. Uh, so I want something that's gonna work consistently for right now because I need to get some good mining up and going and eventually we'll c I'll come up with some kind of good. Uh, I, I just haven't come up with it. You're gonna cause, you're not gonna, let's see. I can never get this correct. Okay, so let's see. All right, uh, you're just not wanting to rotate the way I want you to rotate. All right, you have a big on the front. I don't want you to have a big one on the front. You still have a big one on the front. Okay, so now you have a big one on the back. I don't want you to have a big one on the back. Let's see, rotate you up. And let's see. Um, how come you don't want to go? Stop it, stop it. All right, there we go, there we go. I think this is the one I want. This is the one I want. All right, so please tell me you have a small on the front and a small. All right, let's go ahead and weld this up a little bit. Just see kind of like where it is. All right, so do we have a small connector on the front and a small connector on the back? Yes, fantastic, okay.